happy friday you guys so it's not friday my bad i'm trying to get this video up right now it's like about 1 p.m so i'm gonna do my best to get this video up today because i want to relax the whole weekend actually i have some stuff to do this week and that's why so i've had this for about two days but i just wanted to keep up with my i just wanted to upload my latest upload so check out my last video if you guys haven't already it's like an old inside it's on my two collection review and i'm pretty much caught up now so this is my ipsy glam bag my paid version i already opened it of course and when i opened it i was like oh i was like confused i mean i knew what i was gonna get but just seeing some like a full-size item like what glam bag plus or something and then i, I forgot that i had another like i paid for one add-on like a 12 dollar full-size add-on so i'm like i got a little confused for a moment like i knew what i was expecting but then i was confused at the same time okay, so if you guys don't know what ipsy is it's a beauty subscription you have three different levels so this is a 13 dollar membership and usually includes five deluxe size samples sometimes you get like a full size in the past it would be like eyeliner or or like a brush those are considered full size but for this month they started to introduce like full size palettes but it's like more like drugstore quality kind of palettes well i haven't tried this brand so this is the first thing i'm going to try out so oh i forgot to mention <laughs> all right so this is going to be my last glam bag that i'm going to pay for i haven't canceled yet i just put skip just in case i forget i know it doesn't take that much to cancel but i have just recently like read that people are having trouble to cancel so i'm not sure if it's them but in the past i never had trouble canceling because the last step is always an email to confirm the cancellation so hopefully i don't forget i could just uh well the reason why is because they're gonna add a Hanalee fee $1.99 so that's like more of a reason for me because you guys already know if you guys been around I skipped a few months for my glam bag for my paid version because I'm just like um I'm over the sample size items I get overwhelmed and then when I get to see open studios I get like the glam bag you know gifted to me already so all the little meanies it's just overwhelms me plus I could say something like, you guys if you guys been keeping up this is like the only subscription i can afford right now for this month like next month i plan to get the glamour plus so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do my best to get it because i want to get the i mean it depends how the spoilers are going to be for the glamour x uh if they're good then because you need an active membership the month before glamour x month so the other two memberships, Glamac Plus, $28, you get five full-size items, get to pick three out of the five. Well, the Glamac is, you know, you get to pick one item out of the five from the deluxe size samples. And then the Glamac X is a quarterly upgrade. So you can either have the Glamac or Glamac Plus, and it gets replaced every three months. So that's February, May, August, and November. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is going to be my last paid version, so I'm going to try to do my best to cancel. <laughs> So I don't, because it's really tempting. If you just skip, sometimes you change your mind. And you guys probably notice my eyes are naked. I have a full face except for my eyes because, as I mentioned earlier, I got a full size palette. Ah! So I'm really surprised because um, for the July Glamec choice, it already passed, but they offered full size palettes again. But it's from a brand I think it's called Trend Something. I forgot Trend Box. Trend i'm not sure i forgot the brand i'm glad they're offering like full-size items just to make up the price because they're adding the handling fee for all the memberships so if you get all of them then you're paying a little bit extra so with the glam Mac plus 20 dollars plus the 199 you're gonna pay 30 dollars plus tax but you know i really wanted to try out this palette though <laughs> that's why i decided to get my glam bag instead of the glam Mac plus so yeah so this is by the beauty creation is the muriel muriel twins by the Brittany. I was so tempted, you guys, because this palette looks very cute. It gives me like Valentine's Day vibes. So it's such girly colors. The other version, I think there's another version, of course. I'm not sure if they, I can't believe if they offered the other version. I think they did. And I buy, I think I like this version better over the other one. I forgot how the other one's like, but it's a little bit like less colorful, I would say. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm like sweating. I only have like the ceiling fan and then the AC. I have an AC here, but it's too loud and powerful, so I can't turn it on here. And the AC is on in the living room. But I'm a little hot. I could get a fan too, but it's okay. I just have to stick it through. All right, so maybe I should do some swatches first, huh? Let's do some quick swatches. I'm gonna try to do tiny swatches. So here's the swatches, like that. So pretty nice. 
they actually swatch really nice like they didn't swatch like bad quality so it seems like a pretty good quality I'm gonna do a pink look I have concealer and powder so my eyes are pretty much prepped so let's use the the brown shade yeah that's a pretty brown shade so it's called let me live well let me live that doesn't sound like a good name it's a little bit powdery when I get some of the pigments so just make sure to tap out the excess it might have some follow and I'm just gonna do it like a yeah, soft look not a soft look yeah so far pretty good soft nice to blend so I'm just adding it as a transition on all around just simple look I don't want to do it too crazy but the pink one's gonna be the star of the show I would say then do a pink shimmer the pink shimmer looks so pretty so I'm just gonna add it right here the lid area oh that's such a romantic shade okay so let me just do it more I'm gonna go with the dark purple this is a good brush I like a dance brush for the corner just gonna tap it kind of in the B area a little bit not too high just right there okay I went a little crazy hmm so I think this palette so far it's okay it's not the best quality like it's not bad but it's not the best so yeah I have to add in that pink so let me add that pink in put it on top kind of blend it outwards so we're gonna go with the shade she fly <laughs> and I'm just gonna use my finger I think my finger oh, it's like a very sheer like a sheer shimmer very sheer so i might have to build it up that's why i'm gonna go with my finger because it'll probably take a while to, unless you wet the brush it'll be good but you have to build up the shimmer since it's very shimmer like it doesn't have that much of a sh like a bling shimmer to it so i might add a little bit of that glitter maybe or maybe let's add a little bit of the purple the purple shade looks pretty too it's like very sheer shimmer so i'm gonna go with this purple using my finger because they're very sheer I'm just gonna add it right here so I'm just doing a simple look just to see hmm. yeah it's taking a while to to even show hmm. yeah I don't like this look so far <laughs> yeah well, let me just soften it up even more kind of bring it up the let me get a little bit the let me live shade the brownish shade and then i already done my concealer so i have to be careful with the shape and then soften it up even more okay let me get that purple shade again i don't want to give it up <laughs> like give give up you know i don't want it to look so muddy so I'm just gonna pat it in kinda slightly blend it inwards yeah so let's use a little bit of that glitter shade this is kinda loose so you might have to use like a setting spray mm, yeah I don't like this palette so far honestly like it looks cute but it's not living to my expectations yeah, I don't like the shimmer. Hmm. Like my signature look. My signature look. Just like that. Make it cute. Oh, cute. So I'm going to use mostly the pink and then the purple shade. I'm using a dense uh, detail brush. I'm going to get that light purple shade and just kind of blend it right here. I'm going to get that dark purple. Let me see if I could make a liner. Or maybe not. Okay, I'll just add um I'll just define my lash line then. Okay, so I'm just gonna go off camera, finish the other eye, add mascara, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and yeah, I pretty much amped up the look because I needed to fix it. I needed to save it because I wasn't liking the look. So I went ahead and used my Danessa Myricks Twin Flame Multichrome Pigment in the shade Everlasting. So this I already own. And I wanted to save the look because that silver was too chunky, man. It was too chunky. So this is my look. Um, So I don't love it, but it's actually, you know, better than it was before. And I did add it like a purple 
liner. I use this liner from Lodi London. It's an EM to PM, the shade Velvet, I believe. So I use that, but it's a little bit like dark, like a dark purple, like a very dark purple. So with the brush, I use, I mix these two purples and then I just went over. So that's why it looks a little bit slightly smoky, you know, like a hint of color. I'm slightly disappointed about this palette. I was hoping like high expectations from this palette. Like, yeah, but it's just my first look. So maybe with my additional look, I think with the brown, Oh, you could do like a brown look and then just add that pink. Maybe it's a cute, simple look. But yeah, this is this palette is just not like really my style. It's too sheer for my liking. So that's why I have to use my own item, amp up the look. And I changed my lippy too. So I'll just put whatever I have on my lips or whatever I have now. I'll just have it in the description down below. I don't think I showed you guys, but there was like th three different options you could have chose from the glam bag. So you wouldn't know which color you would receive until you receive it. But I got the purple one, which I don't mind. I wanted the pink one, but I'm okay with purple. I love purple. It's so cute. So it has this material. It's so nice. It's nice quality. And the detailed zipper. Look at that. Really pretty. I love the colors. Alright, so <laughs> yeah. I think I forgot to show you guys the back. Alright, so the next item. I don't think I'm going to keep this, honestly. i seen like a person swatch it on her nails. And yeah, I'm definitely not gonna keep it. It's a nail polish by Fluid. And let me get, let me see, do I have the card? It's a dark purple. It's a shimmery dark purple. Shades feels edgy, glam, and totally on trend for cooler months. And it has seven free formula, which means it doesn't have potentially harmful ingredients found in many nail polishes. So yeah, I'm just not into this color, so mm, I'll just probably give it away. I haven't tried this brand either, but I just don't wanna waste it. If it's a color I'll really use, uh, then I'll for sure keep it. I love receiving nail polishes, but yeah. uh, maybe back in the day I would have kept it if I was like the only because I used to wear a lot of black nail polish, but not anymore. I'm into like colors now. And the next item, this I'm not really into. I'm not gonna keep this too. So most of the items I'm actually not gonna keep. Uh, so this glam bag, man. So this is the A by Amina. Amina? Amina skincare. And it's a 24K gold glow oil and, and this is the like sample but the full version retails for $48 for a 118 ml and this is a 30 ml so this is a really generous size like look at that whoa I would be convinced that this was a full size so it's a really generous size but I'm not into like ooh ooh I just noticed like it has like little glitters but I'm not sure how it would be honestly it looks pretty but I'm just not into using like face oils like I actually declutter some face oils too so yeah so i'm just gonna put that aside probably throw that in the giveaway later on i had a lovecraft beauty gel line eyeliner pencil in the shade piercer and it retails for 13 dollars so i haven't swatched today but it looks pretty let me see hopefully i like it oh yeah it actually looks nice yeah i like that it's like a metallic so for a liner would be cute so i'm happy to have this and the last item i'm not sure what happened to it i don't know if i dropped it it's probably somewhere Oh, actually, I found it. <laughs> I found it, guys. I was such a huge mess in my little little desk. I have a little drawer desk that I use to store my palettes. And I just have a huge mess right here. <laughs> so that's what I'm using right now. So everything's getting lost. But this must have fallen from the bag. But this is the last item. I'm not going to I'm not gonna keep this either, guys. So this is the Pop Beauty Permanent Pout in the shade Razy Rose. So it's a liquid lipstick. So I thought it was a lip gloss. But it says it goes on velvety, leaves behind a matte finish, and won't feather or budge until you go on with a waterproof makeup remover. And it, this is sample size, and the full version retails for $8. Yeah, so this looks like a dark, like a purplish mauve shade. Hmm. I mean, in person, that's how it looks like to me. So in camera, looking on the camera, it looks a little bit more red, but I swear it's like a dark purple mauve so i don't plan on keeping this because it's sample size <laughs> i don't like keeping small little samples for lippies because i feel like i don't use them often for some reason so i'll definitely say this so i forgot to show you guys my 12 dollar add-on <gasps> so it was this i paid 12 dollars for this and this is by neil gen dermology and it's a daylight protection airy sunscreen it has spf 50 so yeah, it's a nice little size it's not like a huge generous amount but it's a good size and it's I think it's let me see the size of it yeah I don't know where, what's the size of this I, I'm guessing it's 30 ml I'm not sure but I tried it on before I apply my makeup and it's super lightweight it, it feels so lightweight so I can't believe it has SPF 50 
but you know i read like mixed reviews that people love it but then other people were saying that it doesn't really provide protection from the sun because they got sunburned but i read in the back you're supposed to apply it every two hours which i don't really do but this is so lightweight it's, it's like a lightweight moisturizer so when i did my try on i put too much i got a little crazy so i put too much but i was able to blend it all i actually put some in my hand too so i my hands are protected but yeah i i spread it out and down to my neck so i really like it it does have a little smell like a lemony smell i don't mind the smell i like the smell it's kind of smell like a little bit pine like pine lemon but yeah so far i like it and depending what you use it might pee or not but whatever i use today it didn't peel so i'm gonna be on the lookout which makeup products are is it peeling with so yeah so far i like it i'm not sure if it provides like good protection but i like how lightweight it feels and doesn't feel greasy at all but yeah guys so that's basically it for my glam bag my last glam bag guys oh my last paid version so yeah for this being my last glam bag because i skipped i think two or three months i <laughs> i don't think it was worth it i paid mm, how much was it I don't know, I paid like $15 or $14, close to $15, because it's $13 plus tax what I paid for. But now the price to start in the Halloween being starting next month on July, the $199. So it, it's gonna be like $15 plus tax now. So I think, I mean, I appreciate that they're starting to offer some full size items like the full size palettes, which I think is amazing. Especially if you're barely like starting into like makeup. I joined Ipsy, I joined the first glam bag because I've was what i was able to afford back then like back then i wanted to get ipsy for so long and then finally um, <laughs> i just took the risk and took you know i started getting lamb bag and then i wanted to get her like a full face with this mini samples and yeah about four months after i'd been a glam bag member i joined glam bag plus and i love glam bag plus because i love the full size items and I'm, I'm glad they're trying to improve the quality of the glam bag so hopefully they keep it up because if they continue offering just sample sizes for that price 15 dollars plus tax i don't think it's going to be worth it honestly and then my glam bag when i think about it well basically i'm gonna give everything away except for the palette and the liner so what would i rate this normally if the nail polish was a different color i would have loved it better so it would have been a three out of five but since i only like two of the items i'm only gonna rate it two out of five which is such a low rating for me because usually my glam bag algorithm however they do it for my glam bag usually it's like a four star but my glam bag plus usually is always better that's why i love getting my glam bag plus because you get to choose three items out of the five for the glam bag plus for the full size products so that's about it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know this video is probably going to be on the more on the negative side because i'm always honest with my opinions and this time around my glam bag my paid version they didn't do good and this is gonna be my last one too so it's a little bit sad but you know what i'm really glad that i picked this up because this is one of the items i got huge fomo for skipping my glamic plus and i think another item too but mainly this one <laughs> so i'm really excited for next month for the glamic plus so i'm hoping i get three of the items i really want if i do then i'll be really happy but anyways guys if you guys are new to my channel i do a lot of unboxing and makeup videos so if you guys are into that then make sure to subscribe to my channel because i love to have you guys here and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys